welcome to the WinBAP Youth Group. Yeah. Sup everyone, I'm Steven, the Youth Group Video Guy, and I'm here to talk to you about the awesome experience that is Wednesday Night Worship for the Win Stanley Baptist Church Youth Group. And joining me here today to talk about it, back on the channel, is Stuart. What's up Steven, thank you, I'm glad to be here. Um, yeah, so I grew up at Win Stanley, and uh, Wednesday Night Worship was a huge, huge part for my growth as a believer, and um, just a as a musician as well. And I Love to talk to you about that, and I'm excited to just share that here in a little while. First, let's transition to the games and then get on into the worship experience and the Bible lesson. Sounds good. What does this room mean to you? Well, uh, this room is filled with memories. It's changed a lot uh, since my time in the youth group. When I was in the youth group, actually everything was rearranged differently. The walls were painted differently. But um, the stuff that took place in this room was incredible. I mean, we had all kinds of worship gatherings. We had games that, that would just blow our socks off. Um, we, I mean, and, and me being somebody who would be one of the people that would kind of rearrange things every now and then, um, there's just a lot of hard work put in here too. And it's, uh, it's cool to see how it's changed and it's cool to just think about how many fond memories I have of just being in this room. And what was your youth group like? Actually, one of the things that I loved about the youth group the most was um, just the, the sense of family that we had. When we would go on camping trips, when we would go on mission trips, our youth group felt like so much of a family. I mean, the way that we would interact with each other, the way that we would bond with each other, was so powerful and so special. And one of the things that Matt Paul would always say, I mean, he, he would always just just tell us how proud of us that he was, um, that, that he thought of us as a mature group of, of high school students. And um, that was just really special. And uh, it, it, was a, it was a really strong, tight-knit family. And how did your time in the youth group shape your years to come after high school? That's a good question. Um, my time in the youth group for, I guess, six years was extremely instrumental in shaping who I am today. And I mean, I was inspired by the Lord during my time in youth group to really pursue music. And I fell in love with worship music in particular, and that that youth group platform of, of being able to lead worship in youth group um, really really caused me to to seek that harder and harder and harder and so when I went to college I went to college to study music and I went because I wanted to become a better musician so that I could be a better worship leader and I think had I not experienced uh, the, the youth worship team or had I not been influenced by people like my brother or my youth pastors, um, I'm not sure that, I just can't imagine how different my life would be had it not been for the people that God used in my life in this time. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, I, it's hard to say how significant it is just because it's, I feel honestly feel like it's one of the most significant things in my life, and I, I honestly think that um, during that time, God God showed me so much about myself. He helped me grow. Obviously, everybody grows when they're in high school, and changing from a freshman to a senior, there's a dramatic change in almost everybody in that four-year time frame. But for me, especially, I feel like. 
God used this place and the people here um, and just his anointing, his presence, his Holy Spirit here to shape me very profoundly. And I'm very thankful for that. And this is Fielding Poe, the Minister of Students and Education at Winstanley Baptist Church. What do you teach on Wednesday nights? Uh, well, typically we'll teach some portion of a book from the Bible. For example, we went through most of Galatians last year. Uh, we worked through part of the Gospel of John. And right now we're working through the book of James. Is it interactive? It is interactive. Um, I ask questions, um, I get opinions from the students, and so it's not like a lecture um, or a long sermon or something like that, but I make sure that I try to engage the students, I try to apply what I'm teaching, and I ask for examples. So yeah, it's, I try to make it very interactive. What's your approach to teaching the Bible? Well, um, I like to work through um, passages of scripture verse by verse. I like to explain what the Bible says and I try to just simply apply it uh, to the lives of students. And is there anything else you would like to add? Um, just that, you know, we believe here um, at Win Stanley with our youth group that God's Word is extremely important um, in our spiritual lives. That's how we grow closer to God. It's through His Word. Um, it's how we grow in our faith. Um, it's how we came to be saved. We heard the word of God and we trusted in the gospel, but it's also how we grow. And so um, Bible teaching is very central to our program. Um, we don't do uh, you know, much entertainment or, or anything like that, but uh, we do try to grow in God's word. And so that's uh, kind of my philosophy. Okay, well, thank you for answering the question. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, uh, Stephen, um, just from a student's perspective, um, how has um, our Bible teaching been effective for you? How has it helped you to grow? Um, what do you think? So it's helped me grow in my spiritual life through some different ways. It's kind of helped me with my my day-to-day -day life to focus more on God, and uh, it's helped me bring in more people and convince me to make these videos for all of you and try to bring in all of you to come here so that you can experience what I've experienced. If you're in middle school or high school with all these things that have been mentioned in this video, please consider being here on Wednesdays for the WinBAP Youth Worship. It's every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. It's definitely worth it. It's an awesome experience. Should I do this the, uh, oh man. See ya!